Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. I'm Sue Dvorsky, and I'm the chairperson of the Iowa Democratic Party. You know, tonight in Ames, the Republican candidates are going to meet, and they're going to lay out their agenda, and they're going to debate the direction for the future of this country. We might hear a lot of tough rhetoric, but the one thing we won't hear is a path forward. While the candidates try to emerge from the pack and distinguish themselves one from another, there is one thing that unites the entire Republican field. Every single one of them wants to double down on the failed Republican economic policies that brought this economy to the brink of a depression. Not one Republican candidate running for president has offered a single new idea that would improve this economy. Instead, they advocate for the same failed policies that left families across this state and across this country reeling. Instead of articulating a new way forward for the country, the Republican field has wholly embraced the House Republican extreme plans to protect tax breaks for millionaires and special interests by balancing the budget on the backs of middle class and senior citizens. Today at the Iowa State Fair, Mitt Romney stood and in answer to a question from a voter that had to do with corporations paying their fair share, he told that voter that corporations are people, my friends. Well, corporations are not people. And the people that he was talking to are not his friends. This was just absolutely a tone deaf response. And yet, I'm afraid that maybe Mitt Romney accidentally spoke his mind. I'm afraid that he spoke the truth and actually articulated what the rest of the Republican field clearly believes. As the Republican Party is overrun by the Tea Party, the candidates have fallen in line and they have embraced that extreme agenda. In recent months, Republicans in the House of Representatives have put forth two major plans for the future of this, con for the future of this country. Congressman Paul Ryan's budget plan and cut cap and balance. If enacted, those two plans would protect special interests and severely hurt senior citizens and middle class Americans. Simply put, the Ryan plan would end Medicare as we know it and replace it with vouchers. The value of the voucher, not projected to keep pace with health care costs, would mean that citizens, senior citizens would have to pay more and go with less. Independent studies have shown this would double health care costs for seniors. But that didn't go far enough for the Republican Party. And in the continuing race to the right, they came up with cut cap and balance, which is the Ryan plan on steroids. It makes it easier to slash Social Security and Medicare than it would be to close tax loopholes on hedge fund managers and oil and gas companies. But what these Republican plans would really do is duck and dodge and dismantle. They duck responsibility to the middle class, they dodge obligations to seniors, and they dismantle programs for the disabled and for seniors. These ideas are wrong for the middle class. They expose Republicans' real priorities. And instead of closing loopholes that would allow CEOs to pay a lower tax rate than their assistants and their secretaries, Republicans would rather gut Social Security. Instead of getting rid of subsidies for gas and oil companies that would rake in billions of dollars in profits, they'd rather end Medicare. Those aren't Iowa's priorities, and they're not America's priorities either. Iowans know this is nothing new. For years, Republican policies have squeezed the middle class and given more tax breaks to special interest. This week, we've been holding roundtables across the state and hearing from Iowans about the reality of what this extreme agenda would mean for them. We've heard from small business owners who talked about how tax cuts for millionaires and billionaires don't help them grow their small businesses and don't help them create jobs in the community. We've heard from educators already struggling with underfunded schools and inadequate resources. And we've heard from seniors who've worked their whole lives and now rely on the promise of Social Security and Medicare to get by. The one common theme that they all shared is we cannot balance the budget on the backs of seniors and the middle class and children and working families. We're coming out of the worst economic recession since the Great Depression, but all the Republicans have to say is more of the failed policies that got us in that place in the first place. Undoubtedly, because of the extreme rightward tug of the Tea Party, we'll hear more about that extreme agenda tonight and Saturday's straw poll and in the days and weeks ahead.